Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieda with On Call Compliance Solutions and another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.1.2, limit information system access to the types of transactions and functions that authorized users are permitted to execute. Uh, big emphasis on the authorized users and what they're allowed to do. Uh, so again, like to go back as usual to a sample answer. Uh, in this case, we say the company utilizes Microsoft Azure Active Directory and Role-Based Access Control, or RBAC, to enforce the types of transactions and functions that authorized users are permitted to execute. This is done by restricting what the users can do with the resources and what areas they have access to. So the company ensures that the right users have the right access to the right resources. Pretty cool. We do this by monitoring and auditing access to all resources. Uh, example, Act Azure Active Directory is used to manage and secure identities by requiring multi-factor authentication to protect authorized users. Azure multi-factor multi authentication is enabled with conditional access policies, again, using Intune again, so that uh, there's conditions on what they can access and what devices can be used to access. Access to the Azure uh, environment is protected by Azure multi-factor authentication in addition. So the company utilizes the steps documented in the company account provisioning and deprovisioning procedure to authorize the creation of accounts used to access the CMMC environment. So again, this is going to assume that the company's got a pretty well documented IT plan and that there is an account provisioning and deprovisioning procedure. If you don't have one of those, uh, again, I would I recommend just sort of writing one. Maybe it can be a standard operating procedure that the IT department uses. Simple one paragraph document. You really don't need a whole lot in here. But again, as our sample answer alludes to, some of these things, in order to prove that you're actually implementing them, you're going to need to write a policy. So, uh, you know, again, I think that's a really critical sort of key piece when you're learning about how to answer these controls properly and pass assessment is, you know, in some cases, you really need a human policy. Another way to do that might be having, uh, you know, the ability to demonstrate that you have a recurring ticket in your IT ticketing system, depending upon whether you're a small company, maybe it's through your outsourced IT provider, uh, or, you know, if you're a big company, maybe it's through your IT department standard operating procedures. If you're a wee little company, maybe you got one person in you, uh, maybe it's just saying, hey, look, you know, as part of this control, I'm the only guy that's got access, so it's pretty cut and dry there if you're small. So cool. Um, <clears throat> if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800-171, or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST SP800, uh, excuse me, NIST 800171 compliancecom or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help. Self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website. By the way, it's always free, never costs you a penny. Or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. If you love the content we're putting out here for you, uh, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for the upcoming CMMC certification everybody's going to have to eventually go through. And uh, look, until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to the information security and compliance you know and love. See you on the next one.